Effects of Land Conversion to Real Estate Developments Reclassification of agricultural land refers to the act of specifying how agricultural lands shall be utilized for non-agricultural uses such as residential, industrial, commercial as embodied in the land use plan subject to the requirements and procedure for land use conversion undertaken by the local government unit in accordance to Section 20 of Republic Act 7160 or the Local Code of the Philippines and Joint Memorandum Circular 54 of, by HLURB or Housing and Land Use Regulatory Board, now its Department of Housing, um, Human Settlement and Urban Development, Department of Agriculture, Department of Agrarian Reform, and Department of Interior Local Government. Land use conversion is the act or process of changing the current physical use of a piece of agricultural land into some other use or for another agricultural use other than the cultivation of the soil, planting of crops, growing of trees, including harvesting of produce therefrom as approved by the Department of Agrarian Reform. The rapid burst of population requires space to live, and that can only be fulfilled by taking over the land used for other purposes. This also requires conversion of agricultural land, water bodies, and other lands surrounding the urban areas to be converted into habitats of people. The population growth also requires a large amount of food for the support which require food processing units and many more types of industries in the suburbs. Land are being sold or undertaken under joint venture or lease. Different developers present here in Region 10, Ayala Land Incorporated, SM Development Corporation, Phil Invest Land Incorporated, Cebu Land Masters Incorporated, A. Brown Company, Pueblo de Oro Development Corporation, Vista Land Corporation, Mega World Development Corporation, Jandorf Development Corporation, Liberty Land Corporation. These are the rice paddies from farmland now to subdivision. This picture shows how rapid urbanization is encroaching the agricultural lands. The Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, has reported that rice land have shrunk by 48% since the 1980s. In 1980, it was estimated that there are 3,649,882 hectares and by the year 2012, the remaining hectare is only 1,904,301 hectares. What is left this 2021? Some projects in our locality and nearby areas this is a Bayview Heights and Ayala Land Incorporated Albeo project. It is located on the mountain side of Tablon. It's more or less 1.8 kilometers from the National Highway. And here it shows the proposed Jarborha Extension Road. Land price here ranges from 18,000 to 32,000 per square meter and these are the view surrounding the subdivision so this project boasts of mountain mountain living experience this is their subdivision plan and another project is in Palio Estate it has five phases in their project schedule 
and the area is composed of 50 hectares. This is their subdivision plan and it shows um, the access from Makapagal um, Avenue and all the roads are going to Bulwa, Ipunan, Opol, Pagatpat, uh, Downtown Cagayan, and Uptown Cagayan de Oro. This is a Vista Land project, part of Grand Europa, located at Lumbia, Canituan, and Pagatpat area. This one is an adventure park which is very famous for visitors coming here in Region 10. This is Dahilayan Adventure Park. It is located at Manolo Fortich, Bukidnon. Another incoming project is uh, a gender project. Uh, they call it Tierra Nava. It's more, more or less uh, a thousand house and lot units. Gigantic property developers pose a counterproductive and destructive role by their expansion into the Philippine countryside which encourages the conversion of local government units of agricultural lands for commercial purposes. Land grabbing and land use conversions are intensifying even in the land holdings that had been covered for distribution, thus denying the rights of potential agrarian reform beneficiaries to own and control the land. These are misappropriated for non-agricultural purposes such as real estate development, tourism, mining and special economic zones by foreign and domestic land speculators such as influential politicians, local governments, and giant property developers like Ayala Land, SM, and the Villiers Land and Lifescapes. The more prominent examples are the cases of Sikogon, Sumalo, Plaridel, and Kasiguran. Conversions and reversals take place in the absence of a comprehensive and coherent national land use policy and enabling law. Such a policy, if enacted into law, would naturally be designed to secure agricultural lands in relation to the haphazard land conversions that displace farming communities and use up product productive lands, thereby further threatening food production. Ayala Land, through its president for international sales, Thomas Mersol, candidly admitted that the lack of land use blueprint by a regulatory board has enabled it to acquire large plots of land and develop them according to its own plan and design. He also added that the fact that there is nobody in the Philippines who regulates urban planning has been great for Ayala Land because they are probably the only company there that has the scale financially to take on large plots of land. This is Sikogon Island. It is it has 334.6 hectares which were classified as agricultural and occupied by 216 agrarian reform beneficiaries. In 2014, they allowed Ayala Land Incorporated and Sikogon Development Corporation to settle in the island. In 2016, Department of Agrarian Reform approved conversion of property from agricultural to non-agricultural. Now, Sikogon Island has been developed into commercial and tourism hotspots of hotels, malls, and residences, complete with 1.2 kilometers airstrip. Pueblo de Oro Township. The total air area of Pueblo de Oro Township is more or less 360 hectares of land. 
Therein, it's composed of several themed residential subdivisions, commercial subdivision, industrial and business parks, and institutional. Land price here ranges from 10,000 to 18,000 per square meters. This is Savior Estate and Savior Heights, St. Ignatius Enclave and Adelaide. Price range also of Savior Estate is more or less the same as Pueblo Township. Tiquadil Subdivision, an A. Brown Company project located at Upper Agusan area. Land price range from 14 to 18 thousand per square meter. Across Tickwood is Vilmiro Heights, Agusan. The house and lot package price range ranges from 3.5 to 6 million. This is their subdivision plan. If you can see, um, land dip is still ongoing as of this date. However, the units are there are only few units left almost sold out so they're boasting of a very grand sunset view normally uh, subdivisions are selling now house and lot packages what are the effects of land conversion and urbanization Higher levels of pollution, increased carbon dioxide emission, global warming due to more greenhouse gases emissions, potential loss of environmental habitats for our wildlife, siltation of our riverbeds due to soil erosion resulting to overflow and flooding, land degradation, decline of its fertility, increased flooding due to deforestation, loss of wildlife habitat due to deforestation and climate change, land or mudslides due to deforestation, kaingin, and housing projects, modified climate regime, erratic weather conditions, El Nino and La Nina occurrences, increased consumption of non-renewable resources such as steel, aluminum, ground, water. This report is brought to you by Marie Christie Sildela Lugto. Thank you.